started. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Team Freedom. And uh, I'm your host, Dr. Aaron. Travis asked me to lead this because he's on a plane with the beautiful summer to Moscow for the 10 year anniversary of APL Go. Kari Thompson and Jenny and Tina and Kelly are on their way over there as well. Who knows what we'll see on that virtual event? Will there be lions and tigers and bears? I don't know. I don't know. There's going to be something and it's going to be amazing. Um, I have a really, really, I think, fun, helpful training for you today. But before we dive into that, open up your chat rooms, everyone. And um, also, let's start with, it's Winning Wednesday. Let's start with wins. We want to hear from you. What's working? What's going well? Did you get a big fat no? Can we celebrate that? Like, speak to us. What's working? Light. Well, this is Laurie. What works for me is just hanging in there and being consistent. I've said that before, but that is what works. The last probably at least four people that I have sponsored have been people that I have maintained relationships with. And after months, they eventually decide they want to sign up. Lori, I will see you at the top, my friend. If people could fall in love with consistency, that's the winning ticket. I love it, Lori. Thank you. Kristen, you had your hand up. My drops are on the way. So I feel like I'm winning. <laughs> Stop it. It's a modern day miracle. Hold the fort, people. The drops are, some people are out of drops. Like Joby, no, she's like, I don't I'm, even have a drop. Like, no, how does I'm that good. happen? That's, yeah, that's kind of where I am. So I've I been- know. Holding back okay, a little we bit are all, samples. We are all so. celebrating. There might be some UPS hugging. drivers that get some hugs, right? You'd be like, why is she hugging me? You're like, you don't even know what I've been through. <laughs> Another win? Kristen. Yeah, my when my drops arrived, Kristen, 90 minutes after I pulled out of Michigan for Texas. <laughs> so they're not $5,000 of the drops sitting in Michigan. So it's a win. They showed up. <laughs> the win is that you're going to sell five thousand dollars of drops. Like this is going to be an oh. epic November for you. Oh, it's skincare came for November. someone. Who else has a win? <laughs> Who else has a win? I'm going to talk about uh, my wins, even though it's super dark in my room right now. Um, I am really excited because I have been cultivating relationships. I think everybody knows me as I'm the one who is willing to talk to anybody and everyone, even lady in the, the mattress store laying down next to her. <laughs> when she's trying to buy a mattress. Um, but I went to um, a networking event actually on Friday, last Friday. And it was really, really amazing. Got to network with a lot of like-minded people, which is very helpful in regards to health and um, definitely picking up some cards from them and now have sent out several samples to several of them. But I also uh, recognize that even if you can't send out samples, just recognizing that the value of the product is worth um, being able to share that with people. So if you can't send out samples, don't think that you can't still sell this product because this product whether you have the product to share or not, it's very shareable. Um, the testimonials in itself, if you just tag somebody, you know, if you add them and then tag them into the Facebook communities, people are looking for answers. So don't just be disheartened. If you don't have those drops, get out and start talking. This is going to be an insane epic month with November being their 10 year anniversary. There's going to be some insane promos, I'm sure, with Sergey. So just get out and start talking to people. Don't hold back, guys. Awesome, Deborah. Thanks for sharing. We're actually going to talk today about how do we talk to the humans? How do we channel our inner Deborah and talk to the humans? Who else has a win? Oh, Karen, go ahead. That's I had to unmute. Yeah, so uh, I took a trip back home to New Hampshire and I shared them with my brother-in-law who got phenomenal results with back pain, shoulder pain, all kinds of pain. Um, and my brother saw this and even though he didn't get results, he just became a builder because of seeing my brother-in-law. And oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. So yeah, especially seeing somebody, you know, and I, and I do go in and I'll send 
the um, testimonials I, I see that, and, and also rapid funnel, I noticed, I don't know, I think he clicked on it about 45 times, like the, the business. <laughs> <laughs> you're like I see you you don't know that I can see you but I can see you Karen that's absolutely incredible oh congrats I'm, so, I'm happy for them me too thank you oh gosh yeah I I really am I love them <laughs> you know what I'd ask if I was Karen and she probably did this but I'd ask the one that it helped so much who else can we help who else can we help? Who do you know? Who's got pain? Let's go and help someone else. I love it. And uh, we got time for one more win. Oh, well, I'll unmute. Good morning. Good morning, Sarah. I am really excited because I'm going to kind of brag on a little group of people right now because Mike and Cheryl are the definition of consistency. They've been in this business since the beginning with us and they've been doing well. But about two weeks ago, Cheryl and Mike just brought in the superstar. No, and what? David Jr. would be on work? right now if he wasn't working. But their team has put in, I think, close to 40 people in the last week and a half. And they're just on fire. They're bringing in diamonds. They're bringing in just really high caliber people that want to go crazy with this. So I've never seen anything like this. It's truly a phenomenon. These people love our jobs. They love our opportunity and they understand we have to get loud. And they have samples en route to some really, really, really big superstar names in the pro athlete world too. So there's oh a lot God. of big things happening. Michael, it's, oh my gosh, Cheryl, that's so, you've been on every call for the last year. Like that is, they are so consistent and it's time. It's time. That's so exciting. It gives us all so much inspiration. Does anyone else have a last burning desire to speak? I have a win. Great. Dr. Aaron. Um, I had a new associate who tried the product for a month and then she said she wasn't going to get any more. And yesterday I got a text from her and she has short term memory loss. So I think there's a lot of confusion when she was weighing whether or not to keep taking them. So she texted me and said she's going to try it for another two months. So that's a good one. Oh, win. that's amazing. Take these consistently for two months and then let's talk. I love yes. it. Thank you, Rose. That's beautiful. That's hey, can I chime in real quick? Well, of course, the Michael Mahaffey. Hey, um, just a shout out to Dave Moss, Dave Moss Jr. In fact, the energy we had on the golf course yesterday, uh, we signed up a, actually my caddy and so forth, and he's super, he's super pumped. So the energy that you get from just one or two people is just amazing. And I'm just so happy and proud to be part of APL Go. Oh my gosh. Golf your way to the top, Michael. That's insane. Like go and do what you love and just sponsor the caddy. I love it. That's so amazing. Thank I'd rather you. go fishing, but thank you. Oh, okay. Go fishing. You're going to, it's hard to go fishing with groups of humans, but okay. You go find all the people fishing. I love it. Oh my gosh. Love it. Thanks everybody. Congrats on a great week. All right. Open up your chat rooms, everyone. Um, so I thought that I would train on the number one thing that we need to do in this business. And I've heard it said this way that we're in the business of talking to humans and the person who talks the most amount of humans wins. So if this were a competition, which it's not, but the idea is the person who talks to the most amount of humans wins. So I'm gonna talk about the psychology of kind of how to talk to people, why it works a certain way. And I'm gonna give you two techniques that you're gonna walk away from today that literally are conversation starters that will have your ideal customers and associates lining up to work with you. How does that sound? Are we good? Does that sound exciting? Okay, so one of the um, concepts I wanna start with though is something that I've known, but I heard it um, from someone on our team, Kristen Keller. She was a communication uh, major in college and she was sharing how her greatest um, goal is to listen well. And I want, to, I want you to walk away with this concept that the greatest communicators actually don't talk much at all, do they? The greatest communicators listen well. 
So if you walk away with nothing else, I want you to become the best listener that you can possibly become and watch what happens to your APL Go business. Okay, so if our job description is talk to humans, that's literally the job description of network marketing. Do you know this? What are we talking to them about? Two things, our product and opportunity. We're talking about our product and opportunity. We're talking to humans. Okay, so before I share with you the two techniques, I want to set the stage with a story and I want you to listen through your own lens of how can you apply this to yourself? Because I think the story will help you remember it forever, okay? And I also want you to understand when communicating with humans, story selling is the way to go. So that's a higher level skill. So I wanna teach you, if you can put something in a story, you will have more influence and sell more, okay? So about six years ago, I had this dream to become a coach and a speaker, and I had no idea how to do it, but I went about and went to my first networking meeting, kind of like Deborah did, the kind where you eat you know, chicken with strangers. I had never been to one before. I was like, what do you wear? What do you say? I had no idea. I was a fish out of water, but I went and I kept going. And for a year, I kept going to these networking meetings and having no sales training, no business training, a year after, about a year after my first meeting that I ever went to, I was awarded the saleswoman of the year of Nevada. I come home, I tell my teenage daughters, I'm like, I'm the saleswoman of Nevada. And they're like, what do you sell? I said, exactly. So this is, I got to thinking, what the heck happened this year? And I felt like I had gone on a lot of coffee dates. So I looked at my calendar, I added them all up, and I had gone on 213 coffee dates to meet the humans. Now, this is not necessarily duplicatable, but the process is. So here's what I noticed that I did on my coffee dates, because I'm a psychologist, and this is all I know how to do. I listened and I asked questions. That's what a great psychologist does, right? We listen, we ask questions, hopefully from time to time, we have some great ideas of what people should do, but we're really good listeners and we ask really great questions. And I realized that my, really my strategy was to, was unknown to me at the time was, I wanna talk as little as possible on these coffee dates and listen as much as possible. I wanted to be interested, not interesting. So that concept for your APL Go business, be interested, not interesting, okay? So we're at Lake Tahoe and we're at Friends Cabin and Lake Tahoe's huge. And this is when it dawned on me what happened and what you will use in your APL Go business. Our little Zachary was probably five at the time. He was looking through this big telescope and he was looking way across Lake Tahoe and he sees a boat and he sees some people on it and he exclaims, I see humans. And it dawned on me, that is how I became saleswoman of the year. Do you see humans? Do you really see humans? If I'm going to go out to coffee and meet Karen, my job, my goal is to really see her. I want to know what lights her up and what gets her excited and what she's struggling with and how I can help her and all the things. Going to coffee with me is a little bit like the Spanish Inquisition, but it's fun. It's super fun. But you're going to walk away, Karen, and you're going to be like, I didn't really even ask Dr. Aaron many questions at all. Oh my gosh, I don't know much about her. That's great. That's fine. That means I did it well in my mind. So, okay. So here are two questions you can ask and keep in your back pocket that will completely Supercharge your APL Go business if you use these with intention. Okay. The first question that all of us humans love to ask other humans is So, what do you do? So, I'm going to give you two scenarios. One is going to be kind of a stranger or someone you're meeting online, you know, um, in a Facebook group or whatever. So, I want to imagine sitting on an airplane and you're chatting with someone. So, what do you do? So the power of this question is first, they're going to tell you. So they're going to tell you. And then what I want you to do is I want you to channel your inner psychologist and pretend that you're a psychologist and do a psychological lean in. And a lean in is physical, but it's your lean in is a follow-up question. A follow-up question. And then I want you to lean in a second or third time. 
And it's going to feel super uncomfortable, perhaps, to some of you. But I want you leaning in. So let's take Yvette. Let's imagine I sat by Yvette prior to APL Go. And I'm like, what, what do you do? And she would say, I'm a massage therapist. I'm not going to stop there. I'm not going to say, oh, that's cool. I'm going to say, oh, my gosh. I love going to my massage therapist. How, how long have you done it? And she's going to say whatever she says. She's going to say 20 some years. I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, how is your body holding up? I've always wondered how do massage therapist bodies hold up? And she's going to tell me. And I'm going to say, what do you love most about being a massage therapist? Keep that question in your back pocket. Whatever someone says to you, what do you love most about that? If that's going to either say, I love helping humans get healthy, ding, 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 ding or something along the line of that. Or she's gonna say, actually, I hate it. Ding, 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 ding. I mean, do you see where we're going here? Okay, so you just keep asking questions. What do you do? Lean in, okay, lean in. So after these two questions I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna tell, share with you how to use them. Oh my gosh, okay. The second question, yes, either answer is a win, but I want you to lean in two to three times before you even talk about yourself or anticipate that they will ask you a question. I want you to be in control of that conversation. Okay. Because psychologically, just being a good human that listens and takes interest in other people is something that other people love. They, lo they will love you. They will feel connected to you. They will like you. They will like you. They'll be like, I don't know anything about Dr. Aaron, but I want to go and see her again. Like she, uh, that was so wonderful because they were talking about themselves the whole time. I love it because I love humans. So there's nothing disingenuous about it at all, is there? No. So I know a lot now about the human that was sitting in front of me. Okay. The second question. So what was the first? Put that in there. What was the first question you're going to keep in your back pocket and use it all the time is what do you do? And I'm going to teach you how to answer what do you do? Because that is the number one question. Everyone wants to know how do I answer? What do I do? But the second question you can ask is, hey, what's new? What's new? So if I know you, if I know Deborah, I'm going to say, hey, Deborah, I mean, maybe I see a post on Facebook. I'm going to be like, hey, Deborah, oh my gosh, I love, love, love your new Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, I love those colors. Hey, What's new? What's new with you? What's new and exciting? And leave it there. Because if Deborah responds back and says, what's new with you, Dr. Aaron? Oh, that's so nice you asked. Actually, oh my gosh, my head is spinning. There's so much new. I'm actually launching a brand new company in the United States. It's been in Europe for 10 years and it's just, it's, it's just such a blessing. Thanks for asking. Okay. So what do you do? And the second question is, so what's new? So let's go back to what do you do? When you are asking someone, what do they do? The chances are they're going to ask you, what do you do? Right. And this is where we've got it wrong in marketing. So marketing, we always think we've always been told we've got a niche down and we've got to figure out who do we help? I help you know, 25 to 35 year old women that like to spend this much money at Lululemon and they have two kids and one dog and the dog's probably a doodle and they like to shop. No. Okay. This is where we got it wrong. We, that is not how we're niching down because we know our products help every single human on the planet that what won't choke on a candy. Okay. If you're two years and older, pretty much you can take our candies. Okay. So it's a problem if we have to niche down. So I'm going to give you a golden nugget here that I paid thousands of dollars in business coaching for. The niching is and always was supposed to be how you help someone, not who they are. So I'm gonna give you an example, the Hoover vacuum. The Hoover vacuum is the Hoover vacuum all the time. It doesn't change. If I go and sell the Hoover vacuum to a stay-at-home mom, the things that I may share about the Hoover vacuum may be different than if I'm selling it to a corporation. Okay. So this is your definition for how you're going to answer. I help. Uh, or what do you do? I help blank. And I want you to understand that you're going to answer that question, depending on what you know about the person in front of you. And I will give you the example. What do you do? 
um, Yvette, oh, I'm a massage therapist. She says, what do you do? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I actually help massage therapists offer this all natural pain relief. It tastes like candy to their patients. And they add this additional stream of income. That is so cool. I help massage therapists, blah, blah, blah. Kristen, what do you do? Oh, I'm a stay at home mom. Oh my gosh, how much do you love that? Blah, blah, blah. What do you do, Dr. Aaron? You know, thanks for asking. I actually, this is so cool. We're sitting by each other. I help children get the nutrition they need. I'm on mission. I help kids get the nutrition they need. I don't know if you, you know, agree, but we're not doing so well in that area in this country. Like that is so cool. I help, you could even say, I help stay at home moms get their, I help moms get their kids nutrition in a way that they don't hate. They actually line up for it every morning and say, I want my vitamins and supplements, mom. And she's going to say, how the heck do you do that? Joby, what do you do? Oh, I'm a consultant for large organizations. What do you do, Dr. Aaron? Oh my gosh, so am I. So am I. I. I have a team. Okay, how... And then I'm going to, I'm going to go in and say, okay, I've never led a team. I have a team now of 1,189 people. Oh my gosh. Give me your secrets, Joby. Like that's, do you see what I, I help leaders launch teams and grow to massive scale, whatever it is, right? What do you do, Pamela? Oh, I'm a self-care concierge. What do you do, Dr. Aaron? That is so cool. I actually help people take better care of themselves. Like, this is so cool. Do you, are you picking up the beat? I'm putting down everybody. Powerful, right? What do you do? Absolutely. Right? Actually, I'm retired. Oh my gosh, tell me all about retire. I've heard about that some people retire and I've heard that some people never can retire. Like, what do you love most about retiring? What, what's the biggest challenge of retiring? And maybe a retiree would say, I hate living on a fixed income. Oh, oh my gosh. I actually help retirees create an additional stream of income. I do it all the time. Did you know like 67% of retirees are looking for an additional stream of income, but they don't want to go clock in and be the cart corral at Walmart. You probably don't want to do that either. Like I want to teach you all not what to say, but how to think. So do you see when you know how to think, you know how to do what I'm doing here? I just came up with the Walmart thing because I can think in a way, I want you to know how you're thinking about things. Okay, so what's new and exciting? I want you to write this down. I found a way to. So when they ask you, what's new with you, Dr. Aaron? Oh my gosh, thanks for asking. Actually, what's new is I have found a way to, and then I want you to insert whatever it is. And I'm going to tag some of you on this call right now. So get ready to unmute yourselves and you're going to see how powerful and easy this is. I found a way to have take a fat burner that doesn't give me the jitters and make my head itch. Joby, what's new with you? Aaron, I found a way to uh, help some of my folks retire a bit earlier than they were planning on. <laughs> Okay, Phyllis, what's new with you? I don't know if Phyllis is there. Okay, Sarah, what's new with you? I found a way to help others create additional streams of income. Wow, Cheryl, thank you. Michael, what's new with you? Who's getting his hair cut? Michelle Sundholm, what's new with you? Oh no, you're muted. We want to hear you. And it doesn't say you're muted. That's ask to un ask to unmute. I'll just hit ask to unmute. Try again. Oh no. Type it in the chat room, please, Michelle. Because she was all ready. I love it. Um, Yvette, what's new with you? I found a way to give little kids their nutritional values every day. They're not getting their right nutrition in school. So I'm helping them to maintain that. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Patty Culver, what's new? Oh my goodness. I found a way to help board housewives find an additional thing to do and earn some income having fun. 
I love it. Thank you, Patty. Claudina, what's new? Well, I'm launching a, an incredible business in uh, the United States that just came. It's 10 years old in Europe, and I'm going to rock this the country and get everybody healthy. Woohoo, Claudina! Susan Armfield, what's new? I am helping my friends and family and meeting tons of new people, lots of humans, to help grow a business and also get healthy with easy to take nutrition. Thank you, Susan. Pamela, what's new? Lisa Talbot, what's new? Hey, so I am launching, <laughs> I had to step away for a second, but I, I'm, I run back in. So I'm super excited because I'm on an entirely new career path, um, helping folks to, uh, you know, really support their, their healthy lifestyles um, with some amazing new products. Oh my gosh, thank At you. Deborah Pringle, what's new? Oh, I am so ready for this one. I know, Deborah, what's new? While I'm on the Zoom, I have two people that reached out. Okay, go, what's new, what's new? I'm telling you, what's new is I had two people reach out from New Zealand. That's what's new. Oh! I <laughs> it's new oh my god i just grew my business in new zealand like yeah. that's what's new i love yeah. it i love it thank you deborah um Kristen, what's new i have found a way to help my kids manage their stress and anxiety a little better without antidepressants without and well no, you could say that. say that no that's not true okay <laughs> i love it thank you Kristen. No, that's true that's true <laughs> i love it i love it Oh my gosh, I love it. No, that was perfect. I don't even know why I said that. I was just so excited for them. Um, one more, Debbie Creary, what's new? I am launching a business, especially this weekend. We're doing a big show. Uh, got all my product and I cannot wait to share it. All right, everybody, you did amazing. Give yourselves a round of applause. Like, do you feel the power of that? And the power of it is that you asked the person, you started intentionally by asking, what's new with you? And they may bounce it back to you. And I want your answer to be APL Go, stuff about what you're doing. They're gonna ask you more about that. Love it, okay. so. So here are the two ways I want you to kind of think about how you're gonna utilize these concepts. Uh, these are more 30,000 feet kind of um, processes. One is the concept of, I always end a message with a question. And the reason I do that is it's a, it's a conversational tag, you're it. So let me give you an example. I'm not just gonna say, Michelle, oh my gosh, you just, that puppy you just got, I love it. I want a puppy so bad. Oh my God, I love your puppy. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be a ninja networker and I'm gonna end with a question. Always end with a question because then they have to respond back to you. It's like a tag, you're it. And you wanna be in conversation with the humans, right? That's our job is to be in conversation with the humans. Okay. Um, tag your it is always the thing. I'm going to give you this super tip. Did you know every single person that comments, likes, loves, or ding, ding, dings on your stories is a lead? Do you know that you will have a never ending supply of leads on social media? And this is how it looks. Patty, thank you. You're always loving on my stories. I just appreciate you so much. Patty, what is new with you? I want to hear all about it. What's new? Could we not do this all day long, people? Are we not doing this? No, we're probably not doing this as much as we could. We could do this all day long. People say, I don't know who to talk to. Every single person commenting on your post. If you want to get really snazzy, this is how you want to think. What do I post on? What do I post? I want it to be a conversation starter to get to where I want to take them. So I might say, 
let's say our incentive trip, let's just say it was in Paris. I might post going to Paris. What should I do? Tell me all about it. Someone posts, I say, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I get to go to Paris. It's always been on my dream board. I can't believe I'm actually going to Paris. I can't believe it. Like, what was your favorite part about Paris? They might ask, why are you going to Paris? Who are you going with? Done, right? I just earned a free trip with my company. Oh my gosh, what company is that? So you can be strategic in your networking, strategic in your posting, right? So always end with a question. So it keeps people in conversation. And then I want you to invest in relationship capital. Now, what do I mean? I want you to make deposits into humans, deposits of love, deposits of caring, deposits of I see you, deposits of I'm thinking about you. And I want you to think about if you don't know anything about anyone because you've never asked the questions and been the good listener, it's going to be really hard to make these deposits. But since you know so much about these humans because you've been this loving person, you're going to know. And maybe on our coffee date um, a long time ago, maybe Susan, I remember that Susan is just obsessed with llamas. And she just, oh my gosh, she loves llamas and llama llama pajamas and all the llamas. And what if I saw the cutest little Christmas caroling llama I'm going to go and make a deposit into our relationship capital and say, thinking of you today, Susan, look at this llama. I call these three miracle minutes. You could do this three times a day. I'm thinking of you. I do this all the time. All of my mentors do this every day. Brendan Burchard has done this every day because it's a fun way to live. It's a fun way to live. It's whatever it is. You're like, oh my God, I'm thinking of you. I just saw this. Or, hey, was just thinking, I was just at the Dairy Queen and you said, you're, yeah, remember your daughter loves the Dairy Queen and how is she doing? I'm making deposits into my relationship capital. And you can't do it unless you're a good listener and you know things about people. So let's open it up for some discussion before we um, sign off everyone. I would love to hear your takeaway. What's your biggest aha of how you can apply this to APL Go? Hey, I'll, I'll talk because literally just having, like it's in the post or the comments, um, what you had said about making those connections, I know a lot of people because you feel like you run out of friends, maybe on your Facebook, <laughs> uh, you know, your groups, but what you can do and what I did and what I've been seeing a lot of bonus from is I go into public groups that are specifically dealing with certain ailments. So literally COVID-19, I use brain to get my taste and smell back with the COVID-19. And so I have been going into COVID-19 support groups and I just make the comment literally about how APL goes brain brought my taste and smell back in doing that one comment I have well last week I had 12 people respond to just one of my comments and then this morning same situation two people um last week was New Zealand uh, people now I'm sending them sample and stuff like that so I mean it's pretty exciting if you're really into making connections doing what you do making your comments, making your statements, asking questions. It's super important to follow up as long as, you know, people are interested. Keep, keep talking back. Love it. Thank you. Who else wants to share a takeaway? Oh, we can't really hear you, Michael. Who else wants to share? How are they going to share. use this in their business? Um, the aha to me, I know it's like, it should be just normal, but I've been sharing and building relationships. And so I really like what I came away with today is the, I'm thinking of you. 
because I've yes. been listening and I've been leaning in and I've been going on a couple of coffee dates and, um, and just listening to them and they would ask me a question, but then I turn it back around to find out a little bit more about them so I could resonate with that. But now I can utilize this. I'm thinking of you. I came across this article and I'm thinking of you and just wanted to share. So that was an aha to me to just kind of nourish a little bit more of the relationships that I'm trying to build. Oh, that's so good. Have you ever had someone say that to you? Like, think about how giggly good you feel when they say that to you. Yes. Or think of you. You're like, you thought of me? That was just the sweetest. Yes. Yes. I think the other thing, Dr. Aaron, that I learned some time ago, and it's just so bang on. And once, like you said, it's you're a little uncomfortable initially, but the person asking the questions gets all the information. You know, and um, it, it, I think there's an interesting balance where you don't want to be an interrogator, right? You've got to share a little bit as well. And yet when I, when I work with my folks, I'm like, you don't ask questions, like you said about the puppy dog. You may ask one there to do a me too, to have something fun, but your questions have purpose. Yes. And the better questions you ask, you know, the more information you walk away from that conversation with. And then you just, I mean, just like in the farmer's market, every one of my um uh, contact cards has everything we talked about, you know, with those puppies, kids, vacationing, anything they could think of. And I wrote it down as quickly after they left so I could remember how to have touch points afterwards, right? To, to extend that relationship, to extend that conversation. Because when people, when they, when you say, I remember we talked about your bike ride, they're like, you remember my bike ride? And it just creates that, wow, I must have been special to them because they remembered something, you know? Uh, I just think it's a powerful, powerful concept. And folks love to be remembered. They love to feel like someone noticed them and saw them, just like you're training today. Thank you so much. Great reminders here today, great new stuff. Thank you, Joby. Yeah, you can put those notes in your rapid funnel too. Yep, about your people that you meet. I'm planning on it. I love it. Anyone else wanna share? Kind of tried, but I don't know. okay. Well, everyone, go <laughs> grab your. Ver oh, go Karen, ahead, Karen. Hold on. Jump in, Karen. Yeah, no, I just wanted to say thank you for the three miracle minutes too. I know Joby was just kind of mentioning that, but that's that's a really great goal because it, you know just to be intentional mm -hmm. about that and and also I have not shared this in networking groups, so this has been helpful for me. I, I'm a coach and 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 I'm just thinking. I know how important connection is and so i'm excited about now it's it's easier to connect with somebody talking about this than it is the coaching i feel so um oh, i love that I'm so i love nugget. i found a way as a coach to stop launching and start leveraging write that down karen i have found a way as a coach because i'm a coach too to stop launching and start leveraging oh i love that yep i know it's so good i mean it's just so good because that's so good. Good. Um, okay, so everyone go grab your virtual ticket. Why? Because last year, if you weren't with us last year, or if you forgot like Garth and I did until we didn't forget, is when you have a virtual ticket, they gave us extra points for the incentive trip. So we recall like the cruise at the time was 100 points, but if you bought a virtual ticket, you got 10 points towards the 100, which was a big chunk of change. There also are tons of free product, thousands and thousands of free gifts, iPhones and all sorts of things. And so whether or not you watch every single minute of some Russian translation or not, get your ticket so that you can get the incentive trip points so that we can all be together on some wonderful trip together. So um, thanks so much for joining. Thanks, Travis, for having me and have a beautiful day, everyone. Michelle. The tickets are in your back office, son. There you go. Thanks for that. Let's go buy our tickets. I'm doing it, Aaron. Great reminder.